Ugh, this remaster looks absolutely nothing like the original. It's a totally different design. Yeah, man, that's a good thing. I'm fully aware that in the last video, I said that I was gonna do something new for the next video. Um, but then I realized I didn't feel like doing that. So we're just gonna review uh, Century Barbarian right now because I've been procrastinating on this thing for quite a while, which kind of stinks because I actually do really like this Beyblade. So let's just jump right into it. Of course, we'll start with the chip and this is the Barbarian chip. Now, you might notice, wait a minute, this looks a little bit different than other chips and that's because it's a new type of chip or a new chip mold per se. So originally it would be a 2x4 and then it would have like some tabs hanging off of it but we don't like that anymore that's kind of lame so now we have these 2x2s or these 1x2s excuse me and then these corner plates to create the same shape and now they connect to the layer bases with these studs at the sides as you can see they can just fit right into there and then you of course add your um, circle plate and then your other details and I did this so it has a stronger connection to the base and also so there's more design options so you're not limited to having 1x2s here at all times so yeah other than that it is kind of a lightweight chip but I think it's totally fine the Sentry Blade is definitely the star of the show here as it has a pretty aggressive shape here and it's probably gonna be very good for attack and also it's not overly heavy it's around the same weight as cyber which i think is good to help balance everything out of course you could just add a heavier chip but in terms of stock i'd say it is very balanced so putting this whole thing together you can obviously tell that there's some new orange accents and i know this is the third beyblade in a row that has orange that i've reviewed i swear the next one will not but uh yeah so i think it looks really nice with these extra accents and since it's trans orange it kind of has a orangey red color which looks pretty nice for the chassis, we got 1A dash, and I am no stranger to putting attack chassis onto balance types, but there is a specific reason why I put this chassis on here. Um, first of all, it's just a good chassis in general for like attack and everything, but you can also kind of do the Flash Sagittario gimmick with this thing. So obviously, you can put it on like this with the blades lined up. This is your attack mode, but you can twist it around, and now the blades are more evened out. So this is kind of your balance mode. So there's different um, modes that you can choose just depending on your play style, which um, is cool. That's one of the things that people really liked about Flash, and that's one of the things I really like about this guy. Finally, we have the Hyper Driver. Now I call it this because it's basically a hypersphere driver. It's a very, 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 very wide ball, and it's very aggressive most of the time, but it can also be quite stationary, mainly depending on how you launch this thing. So yeah, once you master how to launch this thing, so you know, if, if you can learn how to launch it aggressively, but also learn how to launch it where it just chills in the center, and then combined with the mode changes, this is basically your ultimate balance type Beyblade. I hope it's not too overpowered though, that's the thing, I want to be able to beat this guy, but you know, having meta breaking bays can be kind of fun sometimes, so um, let's get to the weight now. So the Barbarian chip weighs around 4 grams, okay that's actually not that bad. Then our Sentry Blade weighs um, 13 grams, uh, that's decent. Then our Chassis weighs also 13 grams. And then finally our Tip weighs like, yeah it doesn't really matter that much, my scale doesn't really read. Stuff like that, I need to get a new scale that can read like, you know, smaller measurements and things like that. But yeah, the full weight is 31 grams, which is roughly the same as Cyber Exo. So it's not too heavy, which I do like. But with that, let's get to the battles. So here we are at the BB-10, and I've started using this stadium because, I don't know, I just felt like it, and also my comment section said so. So let's do some test launches. So let's start it off in attack mode. Yep, that's what I expected. Now it's in balance mode, so let's see what it's like now. Also, what I expected. I'm not launching it too hard though, so maybe we'll do a harder launch. Let's keep it in attack mode and battle it against some stuff. We're gonna battle them against the main three bays, once in attack mode and once in balance mode, so let's get this started. Let's start things off with a very easy opponent. Never mind, okay, I guess Hydra is broken. Okay, let's see how it does in balance mode. Go shoot. Go shoot. 
Oh, there we go. All right, got some good smacks in. Maybe it's doing that because these blades are like super low, so we can get some good uppers in. Not really uppers, but like just low attacks in general. Let's crank it up a notch or two. Here we got Taurus. Uh, basically just a brick wall, so it'll be very interesting to see how it does. Go shoot. Go shoot. It seems to be very docile. I actually didn't expect that. Oh, it's getting tripped up. And, alright, Taurus, or not Taurus, uh, Barbarian 1 through Stamina. Go shoot. And here we have Balance Mode Barbarian. Oh, it almost got flung out there. Ah, oh, but Taurus won that round. Wah, wah. And, of course, the boy. Go shoot. And Attack Mode Taurus. Whoa! Alright, that was a pretty crazy attack. Let's get that in slow-mo. Alright, and now we got balance mode. Alright, looks like Barbarian's picking up some speed. Okay, so you can see it's also, like, kind of chill in balance mode. Oh, and it won through stamina. Okay, so it does seem like balance mode does have more defensive attributes while attack mode is very aggressive. So that's really cool. So that's going to do it for the review on Sentry Barbarian overall. Um, this Beyblade is um, basically exactly how I described it, very versatile. The two modes work very well. The tip is a lot more docile than I thought, but maybe you just have to launch it harder, which I'm kind of scared to do. I don't want this to blow up, but eh, what can you do? So that's going to do it. Comment, like, subscribe, stuff like that, and I'll see you in the next video. It is very hard to throw things in the stadium. I don't like that.